I'll tell you but that. It's like a Pokemon. It just keeps evolving into like <laughs> yeah. larger, more yeah. uh, magnified versions of itself. Yeah. The, the, the final evolution of Phil is going to be like, Phil and like, I'm going to be a black Israelite, Phil. Yeah. Be like, yeah. we are the Israelites. We are the Jew tribe. <laughs> like, I would not be surprised to hear if you went through, like in five years from now, if somehow you fell off the face of the earth and then we reconnected. Please you call would, me Brother Phil. Yeah, I was going to say, A, you would go through a religious phase. You would go through a cultish phase. And then somehow you would find a way to, the, to like, get hyper-educated by your, like, religious cult. Mm-hmm. And then you would earn a PhD and then be, like, a radical engineer who, like, wants to sell weapons to, Bro. Like, to like, Iran or, like, oh, no. or like <laughs> Russia or something. Bro, we're, 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 we're going we're gonna to reconnect in the future. And it's going to be, like, me going out to lunch with you and somebody's going to stop by, like, it's the Honorable Prophet Phil. Prophet yes. Phil. Oh. Be like, I'm sorry. I got to deal with this every day. <laughs> I mean, you, you Peace do. be with you. Welcome to Bro Taste This. I uh, got Jesus. a message. I was hoping it was one of my exes. Hell yeah. I was hoping they were like, you know what, man? It's Christmas time is coming up, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. How are you guys feeling about Christmas? Any pressure? How do you How do you guys feel like any feel to or any pressure on getting like 10 gifts or anything like that? Is that a thing in your life? I, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. In all the years I've done Christmas... I've never gotten like gifts for my like friends' friends. Like I okay, maybe like t- two years after high school, and I was like, this is kind of dumb. I might like when I hang out with them, we're already doing things, and like I'm already like, you know, I I'll buy drinks and I'm, like I buy dinner and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm like that's a Christmas gift to them together. Yeah, you know. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, even that's overrated. I think that like. Sit- yeah, it's I just, just the fact that. that, like, if we're talking about the uh, uh, Christmas or anything like that, I would say that, like, my presence this year has been enough of a gift than, like, cheap socks or a keychain. I, Which, I mean, by I, the way, I totally agree with that. The fact that your presence is, is a gift in itself because like, hey. you should always spend time with your loved or spend time with your loved ones, whoever they may be for you. Yeah, you don't need a special day or designated day of the year to yeah. be like, uh, yeah. let me treat you good, baby. Yeah, but but also, like, I don't know. like, mm. Well, I think, like, the best part about, like, Christmas and, like, holidays in general is just, like, the fact that, like, everyone has off but like i hate it when yeah. jobs will make you work they'll be like oh you get the day after off i don't want the day after off <laughs> it's, like, it's like dude people have off on this day it's like, yeah for real that's like people are or like working new year and you know? i've like i appreciated the fact that like because even though like most restaurants never opened on christmas they'll be open like on christmas eve or like new year's eve and new year's day yeah but a lot more restaurants are starting to close and like a lot more like places in general, even like Walmart like closes now like on like yeah. early Thanksgiving. They close their th- yeah. uh, whole store for Thanksgiving Day early. Yeah, yeah. it's like because like it's like dumb. Like they'll be like, oh, but they get the next day off. It's like I don't want the next day off. Like my <laughs> parents, like everyone goes back to work. <laughs> All my friends go back to school. Like motherfucker, yeah. give me the day off or holidays. It's like give me the actual day. So then, like that's mm-hmm. the day that everyone has off. I saw a t- statistic, which I wasn't surprised. Like after reading it, I was like, oh, that makes sense. That Thanksgiving Day is the most like ho- it's the one holiday where people are drinking the most and the most cop arrest. Oh, that's a what was that, it? That, oh, that, most that's arrests? Wednesday. The Wednesday before it's Blackout Wednesday. Yeah, but, Blackout yeah. Wednesday. Blackout oh. Wednesday. Oh, okay. See, yeah. I, I wasn't even aware. Are you guys, that's, uh, that's the turkey trap people. The what? A turkey trap people. What's a turkey trap people? Because this year I became a turkey trap person. Where, <laughs> where you that? wake up early on Thanksgiving to go run a 5K. <laughs> Is that a I've thing? I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing a lot of people do. I was yeah. like surprised because like at work they're like, oh, you don't have to pay anything. Just like we'll pay for your entrance fee. And I'm like, all right, let's sign up. And then you're like all there, like, you know, something new. But mm-hmm. on the day of, you're like up at seven in the morning, just go run outside. You're like, ah, I shouldn't have done this. Like I just, <laughs> like, like I just got out of a four year relationship. I don't know what to do with my life. So I guess I'll just sign up for this marathon on Thanksgiving but Day. It's like a thing that a lot of families do. So that's why I saw it's like, yeah, I saw this meme. It's like when that's you start awesome. dating someone new, find out their their family's a turkey family because you'll be up early on Thanksgiving just to run outside. Yeah, the, the, no way I'm doing that. All right. <laughs> 
the father in laws like putting tape on their nipples so they don't get the, the runner <laughs> the runner bleed. He's got the band aids and an you axe. <laughs> Which is like crazy to think that like you're like it's either be I forget the friction of your shirt rubbing against your nipples so much that it causes it to bleed. Or it's just the willpower of like I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit. Yeah, I'm not gonna quit. Pure willpower just, just squirting out of there. It's pure blood vessels. Yeah. Is that's pure pain, if you ask me. Right, that's <laughs> not painful. Total pain. Oh. No, but I guess I meant more like you. You don't have that financial pressure because you have a like semi-large family. You know, like a few different siblings. You I've never never gifted them nothing. No, every time I gift them something for Christmas. Couple months later, they break it. They like leave it out for the dogs to eat it, or like what have you. And I'm like, last time I spent okay, last time I went out on Christmas was a couple of years ago. They just got a switch. My siblings got a switch, so I, I loaded them up with like a new uh, uh, the Mario game that came out. The, the Mario and Luigi against Browser. I guess I forget what it's called. Superstars or some bullshit like that, right? It was like you can play as Mario and Luigi. It's this new game, holiday season, a couple years ago. Bought them three different control switches, which is like 70, 70 to $80 a piece. Less than six months, less than half a year, the fucking three controllers were bitten up to shit by the dogs. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. No good deed goes unpunished. And now their now they're Christmas gift is... Dude, their you, Christmas gift is the groceries upstairs. Their clothes in their back. That's what their gift is. That's you, what they get. Wait, so you guys actually all... I mean, you, you buy gifts for everyone in the family, or do you guys do, like, the games, you know, where you kind of, y- you all buy, like, one gift? The Secret Santa the bullshit? Kind of, yeah, the Secret Santa mm-hmm. stuff, you know? I my, mean. my family used to do the games. Uh, we didn't do anything this year, so it's going to be much more random. Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to be, like, a, a, like, maybe a few gifts here and a few gifts there. Like, not necessarily any hard, rigid way or formula, you know what I mean? Sure. Like, um, so, yeah, um... I'll, I'll probably end up getting a lot of gifts, so because like, um, I don't know. Me and my wife have have a lot of people that we like and like we spend a lot of time with. Like, yeah, they don't expect a gift from me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fine. I, to I, all I, my I, close friends, donors, you I, you know me the longest out of all three. Like, yeah. Have well, you ever received a gift from me for sure. let me, for Christmas let me, or whatever? Let me slide in here. Be a, truly a part of you guys. Damn life. right. Oh. Hell yeah. Joining oh, us yeah. live and in guys. person yeah, is... Get, get what's it, up, everybody? I'm, I'm Cody. <laughs> bring, bring it even more. All right. Yeah. Slide up here. Slide right, right in front of this drink. There we go. See, Beautiful. that's the one Beautiful. thing about bro taste is that a lot of the fans aren't getting uh, a hang of. Bring it in, Cody. the fact right, that right. Uh, anybody at any time could be part of the show. Because this is a viewing experience. This is not just for uh, a TV to TV, a phone to phone thing. This is in person and living color. Cody, introduce yeah. yourself and your beautiful mustache. <laughs> I'm Cody. Good friends with these guys here. Just met this man today. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I was here just to hang out and figured I'd join in for the rest of the, the show. So, And join he shall. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, a very close friend of mine. We've known each other for a long time. He knows my ins and outs. Long time. My true inner personality. And I'll tell you what. It's a wild card. I'm a wild card. You, you, you truly are the wild card. Though. Yes, I am. Yes, out I of, am. Out of the, the friend group, man, you just, you just were. You, hey. never, you, you never, you never knew. You know, it's gonna be left to right, straight up and down. Yeah, side, literally. Sideways, you know. <laughs> Either it's gonna be a fun night, or it's gonna be a very disastrous night. Very, very so. But we're gonna fill you in on what's going on here. Thank you for joining us on the podcast. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. But as we were saying, Christmas is overrated. I agree. I'm more of a Hanukkah guy. Give me 11 <laughs> days. Give me a candle. I love candles. As you can see behind me, we got some candles lighting up over here. Give me 11, those bad boys. Oh, like what? Is it 11 or 8? The Adam Sandler movie? Another <laughs> uh, pro to Hanukkah. Eight Crazy Nights. I've never watched it. you never seen Eight Crazy Nights? Uh, I've no. seen that. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Adam one, right? Sandler. Yeah, it's, yep, yep. Yeah, the animated one. So yeah. uh, I would watch it, but I'm, I haven't run into it mm-hmm. and watched it yet. But I would because I fucking love that motherfucker. Exactly. And no, I th- but I disagree a hundred percent with Hanukkah. No, I'll go to bat any day for the idea that Christmas is awesome. Like I'm a Christmas stan, bro. Christmas but, is fun. Like, I mean, Christmas and and uh, what's it called? Um, Turkey Day, Thanksgiving, are like two of the days that most people have off. 
and like have a not have a chance to interact with large amounts of people or like their family that they don't always have a chance to uh, see. So like, I don't know. Like I don't know about you, Leo, but I feel like you might agree. I don't want to set you up for that, but um, I don't know. Having a larger family and whatnot, like it's it's nice like to hang out with like all of your homies who are also your age and like you guys are like shooting the shit um and like your wives your girlfriends or your fiancés are there and you guys are all just interacting mm-hmm. yeah like I, i'm a fucking sucker for that that shit happens like once or twice a year it, i think yeah. it's a blast yeah. i mean it's a riot you know you uh, crazy dude, I, I like christmas and just like the whole like the food month from november december it's uh, i just love just because like everything slows down especially because like well like for uh, like i don't know like juan you might get it but like at restaurants, like everything slows down, it's like more That's calm. True. It's That's not true. as stressful. You come yeah. in like, dude, I feel like there's happy. been a Christmas magic in the air with tips lately too. Yeah. And then also like, <laughs> you go in like, a couple days, and all of a sudden, before you know it, it's Thanksgiving. You're cooking food, you're eating a lot, and then you go, you think like, oh, you're going back to work, but then it just goes back quick, and all of a sudden it's Christmas, and like everything's slow. Like there's parties at work. Bro, then, when like, it's when it's Thanksgiving day, I take my shoes off. It's Thanksgiving at that point, bro. I got some stanky feet. Sorry, go, go like, on, man. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, especially because, like, Thanksgiving is, like, done right. You, you know, sit down, watch football, eat so much food, <laughs> like, yeah. drink beer. Yes. There's, like, Un- unloosing the belt. better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got to be honest. If we're going around, you know, sharing our Christmas spirits, I've spent pretty much every Christmas by myself. And, like, either A, I get super sick around this time. It's either this time or March where I'm like, <laughs> my throat's, you know, I'm oh, shit. leaking Mar- March mucus. March is a couple months away at least. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's either one of those times. I either get super sick for my birthday or I get super sick for, like, the holiday season, right? You do get sick around your birthday every year. Every, every year. year. Why? Without fail. I, you know what? I don't. I nope. wish I knew why, but you do. You get super it's like sick? E- it's like every yep. year. <laughs> and, it, like, because of that reason, it's just I've been spending, like, the holidays by myself. And, like, the one time I did spend it with a significant other, she, like, spent the whole time, like, arguing with me, like, don't you think that relationship's on the back burner? I'm like, I, 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 not until now. <laughs> 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 not until we can't have a, a holiday together. It's like, I thought we were just going to eat ham and make a gingerbread house. <laughs> I'm here to drink cheap beer. <laughs> I'm not here to well, question whether this is going to go anywhere. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> But, uh, God damn it! Yeah. Uh, I I have to wonder which one it is. That's that's the holiday season right there. I'll tell that's, you what. that's why we should do like a friends miss. You know? Yeah. I think yeah. that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Dude, um, Leo and I have a cousins trip we got going on. There we go. During like the 16th, 17th, and 18th, I think, or 16th and 17th, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you guys going? We're thinking the Dells. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Dells. Okay. Yeah, maybe like, it's like a weekend up there, you know, mm-hmm. water parks in a day, just beer at night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Now better there, right? Yeah. We'll be looking to <laughs> forward to content from you guys. You know, little pizza places. Damn right. Damn right. You guys tell us what the best food is in the Dells. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, thing we'll, we'll look at some places. Yeah. We'll scout, scout out. Now, for those uh, watching, we're just, they're talking about the touristy place of Wisconsin, which is. The Wisconsin Dells. Damn right. The place to go, the place to be. A little slip and slide, a little slope and slide. The they water got, park capital of the world. Yeah, oh, the yeah. largest water parks uh, in America. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Noah's Ark, you yeah. can't America, miss it. America, baby. Bald yeah. eagle sounds right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also famous for their uh, all-you-can-eat buffets. Yeah, uh, shut the fuck up. Is that true? Paul I Bunyan's. I apologize for the hiccup. Paul Bunyan. Yeah, there's Paul Bunyan. Place. That yeah, place bro. Is that place is good. That place is good. That, that is, good. is good. If you know, you, you know. know. Dude, With the little, you, you tin, do the, the little tin cups. Like yes. Like an actual yes. Yeah. 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 You're uh, all sunburned the morning after. It's like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Give me another plate. <laughs> Give me some more aloe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we look place. forward to that. To that uh, sweet uh, content from you, from you, uh, yes. bros. Hopefully, I mean, maybe not. Hopefully, but if it's not too snowy, luckily. But really, I do hope for it. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a, like fuck snow stan as well. Um, I like snow. In, if it's gonna be cold, it might as well snow. You know? Yeah, I guess. But like, hopefully, there's like a random like forty or like fifty, sixty degree day that day. And, uh, like, maybe we can, like, have, like, some time outside on, like, a canoe or yeah. some shit. Bro, know? it's going to be global warming. That'd be a cold-ass canoe ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real. 
<laughs> going through the frozen ice. Is, <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be bundled up, that's for sure. And with global warming, we probably won't well, see snow for a while. Right <laughs> there went that dream. <laughs> yeah, we, you, you're good on that. We probably won't see snow for a little bit here. You know, global Hopefully. warming's a Hopefully. son of a bitch. Even though it, it is supposed to snow tonight. Is, is it? it really? It is, yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ah. They're like I like snow and how it looks and everything, but it's just so annoying to be driving around with snow. It's like, yeah. snow, like yes, cleaning your true. car out in the mm-hmm. morning. That's true. Like sliding everywhere. You're like, <laughs> oh, bro. The thing I hate. Stopping with like ten feet of anticipation. Ooh. Yeah. It's You're, that sludge. The sludge yes. is so bad. I got a family in Florida that they want to move up here, and I tell them all the time, like you know, Florida, just stay there. Yeah. You, you move up here in the winter, and they've never experienced winters. So you know, it's like if you move up here. Just imagine waking up and you got to start your car 20 minutes early. Yeah. You got to get up, bundle up, get in your car. It's still cold. You know, you got to scrape your windows. You don't want that. No, nope. you don't want and that. It, it's like winter lasts so long. Like, it yeah, seems once like, you're in the winter, yeah, yeah. Once you're in actual winter, like, that's all the way until like April. Where yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Once the first snowfall comes down, you're not looking till the end of it until hey, it's at undone. At least luckily so far, the winter. Yeah, that's what I was so gonna bad. say. I feel like we've yeah. been lucky this year. Yeah, it's like yeah. half, so far. almost halfway through all... December, exactly. and it's yeah. like you go outside in the sweater, you're fine. Exactly. It's getting yeah. more mild yeah. every every year. It's getting like more mild. Last year, like, great great point. Yeah, yeah, every year it does get more mild. It's like global warming is a thing or something. Yeah, what the fuck is I know, that? What's going maybe, on? Maybe we should drive more Hummers if this is what we get. Yeah, like for real. Maybe these pencil neck liberals have a, have a point. <laughs> Maybe Where, they got it all Hank wrong, Hill, though. Bro. Like, I don't, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. <laughs> if this is the outcome, you know, longer summers or longer falls in the winter, then yeah. yeah that, hey, that, longer that. summers sound great. Yeah, it's going like... to love me in summer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Up here, you know we value the shit out of that. That's probably why, like, you know, that's probably why that shit doesn't catch on in like the Rust Belt. You know, like somebody's gonna mentalism. Somebody's gonna kind of mm. secretly like the warm. Well, you like the warm, but somebody's gonna clip this and give it like six, eight months. We're gonna be like, oh my god, it's so fucking hot. It's like a hundred and ten degrees in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, hundred and ten ain't that bad though. <laughs> I'm here, not in Texas it, ain't that hey, bad. I, I did some work down in Texas recently, and like, yeah. it was a hundred and ten every day down there. Bro, it's gonna be a hundred eighteen in Texas by this. Dude, you go out, you know? like, yeah, that's if it's a hundred and ten over here, yeah, yeah. you can only imagine what's gonna be in Texas. Like that, but no, it's gonna be one hundred and ten. Ain't bad. It ain't yeah, bad. it ain't bad. Dude, like the heat Where is annoying, but like <laughs> compared to the cold, once it gets to like the tens, you're like you just like struggle to even be outside. Like, you go outside, yes. you hate your life. Exactly. <laughs> Literally. That's facts. Yes, 100%. When you're out when the air hurts your face, it's one of the worst feelings in the yeah. world. It's one of the Especially worst feelings in the Especially in the morning, yes. dude. Like, in the mornings, like, for your job up at 6 a.m. just to go outside and get, like, oh, yeah. completely destroyed by the weather. Your morning boogers are f- freezing <laughs> as you speak. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the best part of it, though. Is when spring does roll around and you get that first like 70, 80 degree day. Oh, oh that's yeah, awesome. and yeah, you walk outside, you're like, beautiful. It's amazing. Yo, yo, okay. Speaking about topics like that, yeah. You guys remember talk when we were in school mm. and we were like still dealing with winter and dealing with that exact scenario. And, like, Summer the breeze. First day of you get off the bus and you're like, oh shit, it's kind of warm for this puffer jacket. <laughs> yeah, yep. Like, fuck that. Yep. Yeah. Like fuck that! Throw that in your backpack. Walk home, and it's just like beautiful. Oh, it's there. nothing better. Nothing the better. Best, best <laughs> feeling. Best spring, feeling. Spring fever, right there. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. No yeah. joke. I do that with my buddy. Um. Yeah. If we'd get off the bus. Your friends with a kid. Yeah. What? Fucking pervert. Your friends. <laughs> friends with a middle school boy. No, back in our school days, but yeah, we'd get off. Back when I was a young boy. Dude, we go sit on his roof. You know, so nice, just the crack of spring. Mm-hmm. When I was yeah. a young wart. Yeah. Nothing better. When <laughs> I was a young warthog. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's the uh, the mood we're trying to capitulate in this podcast. Yes, we do go over some tough subjects of military coups and Jack Daniels go to court and. Ooh, you know, a couple of Nazis here and there. But at the end of the day, we focus on what's really important. Talking about school days. Community, talking about you know, when we used to Back ride the bus. Back when we were happy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back when times were good, you know. Take me back. <laughs> like, your biggest worry is like, oh, like, what am I going to wear tomorrow? Like, <laughs> coming mm-hmm. in in your pajamas watching the Polar Express. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's what it is. <laughs> Being worried about your crush, like, oh my god, she gonna notice my new socks. I was, I was always about that. 
You were worried about the socks? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It didn't seem like you worried about anything at school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you wanted people to like you, but I, it, it yeah. also felt like you just did not give a shit. <laughs> you know, of all, out of all the guests that we've had, you're the closest one that I've seen, like, besides episode uh, 50 something. Did you guys ever have Blake on here? Or? We had Blake, but we didn't talk much. And that's okay. uh, yeah. uh, Rock and B. We don't, we don't, we don't say Blake. No. Oh, no, no, Blake. Do right. his criminal we, history. We, that's like, hush, hush. Hush, hush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we had Caesar here on the episode of uh, The Lord of the Rings, which was a couple, uh, couple of episodes ago. Okay. I forget which one it was, but, uh, yeah, you're the closest one that, uh, that knows my childhood. I used to be a, a freaky child. I, my since, senior year. Since middle school. You keep saying yeah. used to be. Dude, my senior year, I used to when wear. When did you move on? Bro, when did I when stop did wearing suits and ties? He's moved on from multiple stages Multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you it's that. It's like a Pokemon. It just keeps evolving into like <laughs> yeah. larger, more yeah. Literally. magnified versions of itself. Yeah. The, the, the the final evolution of Phil is going to be like, Phil and like, I'm going to be black Israelite, Phil. Yeah. Be like, yeah. we are the Israelites. We are the true tribe. <laughs> like, I would not be surprised to hear if you went through, like in five years from now, if somehow you fell off the face of the earth and then we reconnected. Please call me Brother Phil. Yeah, I was going to say, A, you would go through a religious phase. You would go through a cultish phase. And then somehow you would find a way to, the, to like, get hyper-educated by your, like, religious cult. Mm-hmm. And then you would earn a PhD and then be, like, a radical engineer who, like, wants to sell weapons to, Bro. like, to, like Iran or, like, oh, no. or like <laughs> Russia or something. Bro, we're, 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 we're going we're gonna to reconnect in the future. And it's going to be, like, me going out to lunch with you and somebody's going to stop by, like, it's the Honorable Prophet Phil. Prophet yeah. Phil. Oh. <laughs> be like, I'm sorry. I got to deal with this every day. I mean, you, you Peace do. be with you, son. <laughs> You, you like you shed your skin like every three years. That is true. <laughs> I'm like yeah. the I'm like Jeepers Creepers. I come out every seven years to yeah. feed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I was a pretty crazy child. I used to wear suits all the time. I used to be out there and um, yeah, you know. Yeah. I, the greatest uh, story that I when I think about us, our friendship over here with uh, I don't think we introduced him, but uh, uh, Cody uh, Stevenson. Who hails from Clinton? <laughs> they, they're gonna say his whole name. They're gonna find him. If we ever get like super massive, they're gonna his, find him. Like either he is. His it's mother's me. maiden name is. Uh, yeah. Wait, what's your social security? <laughs> oh, uh, let me. Uh, me. <laughs> See, the greatest story though I gotta say about us is that uh, senior year, you know, we're pretty much close to the verge of eighteen. You know, in the eyes of the government, we're adults, right? So we're all you know trying to figure out who we are and like, hey, this is what I am. I like this about myself, right? Uh, the art teacher. I I used to fall asleep all the time in school. Oh Z. Oh yeah Z. Yep. Yeah yeah. You know where yeah. I'm going with oh, this. Yeah. I used to fall asleep all the time to the point where like the other teachers would tell me like, you know we talk about you right. I was like, what do you mean? It's like sleeping in class. It's like what? It's like I always put my binder. And just, oh like, my god yeah. Just sleep like this right, and I wake up and just have the worst ridges on my on my. <laughs> Not my and this chin. this wasn't even just art class, dude. Every class, every class I was every falling class asleep. I had with this guy, yeah, he'd take. I, we had math class together, yep. and he'd take his big math book and just he'd like prop it up and kind of open it up a little bit. Put, yeah, I put his chin on it and just fall asleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it got so noticeable. All the other teachers were like, "Does he do this in your class too? Does he do this in your class?" It got so bad to the point where Z was like, "Phil, you never gave yourself a chance." What do you mean? He didn't. You never gave yourself an academic chance. How could you like, bro, ever take on school when you like would just go in there and <clears throat> fall asleep? Sleep was more important. I'm yeah. so glad, <laughs> so glad to have Cody on for this part. <laughs> My junior year, I was pretty much the original Trump. I ran a presidential election. Do you remember for my uh, economic class? I had pictures of myself like hope, believe. And I was running against Anna Ewing and like Quinn Morita for like oh my God, the I school president. Yeah. I, I went full like, we need to close the borders. We need to make up Clinton great. I remember this. I was like <laughs> early, early Trump spear, like talking to Clinton. What were like, you saying? Bro, I was like, oh, my biggest <laughs> campaign thing was Michelle Obama. Has just taken away school lunches, like the big school cookies. Oh yeah, we had the we yeah had giant chocolate chip cookies and like sugar cookies. Taking away from us. Yeah, we, hey, Juan, do you remember the? I don't know if you guys had it over there, but at DHS we used to have the Big Daddy pizza. Yeah, that's where was you had great. to pick it yep. up and it was dripping yeah. oil. Yeah, that oh, shit was great. They took that away from us. 
Yeah, all and the good stuff. Like a thousand calories yep. in one slice. Yeah, yeah that shit was <laughs> phenomenal. And the biggest thing in my campaign. You would get like three. If you were an athlete, yeah. you were like, oh, bro, it's bulky season. They used <laughs> to serve chili, right? And these little bread bowls. And in the height of the whole, like, Michelle Obama making a healthy school choices for kids in America, they took away the cheese. They took away the cheese for the chilies, right? For the bread bowl. Oh, yeah, we l- would load that up. Yeah. They took it away because it was unhealthy. And one of my biggest campaigns... Bro, I went to school in the same season as, or the same time as you, as you did. Yep. And we did not have as like similar issues. Because Michelle Obama hates Republicans. Clinton... Or, or oh, you guys could just be having, like... Did you like guys go mass to obesity? school or... <laughs> No, we we, we went to Delavan, and he was class of fourteen. Yeah, did, do, were you a Delavan as well? Yeah, yep. oh, okay. I was a little bit after. Yeah, him. he was oh, okay. after. Yeah, yeah, but still, like, um, I don't like. I had Big Daddy Pizza up until like the fucking last year. Like, because yeah, I like, still had it like some, my freshman yeah, year. It was we, all the way. I, I remember the, greasy ass food. Like, they, they, so they, that might have been like a local thing. They yeah, started implementing that uh, with yeah. with well, nationwide. Michelle Obama had implemented a, I do a school that. thing. Yeah. Right, it was like our sophomore junior year. Yeah, it exactly. was gone. It was gone. Yeah. And that was my biggest com- political like campaigns. Was like, we're gonna bring back the cheese. If I'm elected, I swear to you, for our chilies, we're gonna bring back the cheese, right? And you like, had a big, big talk about oh the yeah. cheese. I remember. We this. had two different big speeches. <laughs> we had one in the library, and we had one in the assembly, like gym room. And I was like, going full, like I had a tie on, I had my suit on. I'm like, we need to, like, if you want to come to America. It's got to be the same as the Wisconsin Dells. You got to wait in line, and you got to wait your turn. <laughs> People clapping, like, fucking going crazy wait, you for me. you said that shit? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. He went ham. It yeah. was hilarious. And, like, okay, so the two... What did immigration have to do with your fucking so, high school, so, bro? so here's the funny thing. The two people that, like, were my campaign team were, like, heavy Republicans. I'm going to bleep their name out. Amanda St- and uh, Nolan who are families are super Republican. So they were like my like my brains for the campaign team. They're like So they're telling you to they're, say they're this. like, Oh, we want you to go out there and talk about the border like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 I'm no, like, no. Yeah, way. I can do next, that. Uh, next <laughs> no, thing you know. Was, this was all his plan. <laughs> then, he's lying. Dude, no, no, no. <laughs> Phil's gonna be like trickle down economy. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. Your parents love it. You're gonna love it. I swear to you. You're talking stolen. about like tax <laughs> cuts. It's like, what? We don't even work. We should abolish the minimum. Wage. Yeah. <laughs> we should go back to endangered servants. <laughs> you should have been like, these teachers are asking for too, da- <laughs> too much damn too money. Damn much. <laughs> I could do their job. You know, the His wife here. looks like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a dog wife. <laughs> Just go f- really, really lean into it. But no, like that was a real, like a real thing that happened in high school. We ran like a mock presidential election. So for then, like, yeah. how economics. did I tell people how the votes ended up concluding? <sighs> I, obviously, you lost, but by how bad? Yeah, no, no I did lose. I did lose. You did lose. Yeah. and who, who won though? Uh, the sophomore, right? The only reason why I lost, I had a big only reason. No, 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 I had a only. big, big lead. Oh, everyone loved Phil. Yeah, you know, they were like, okay. oh. I had a stupid <laughs> big lead. And when it came to lunchtime, I would campaign. I would go on my study. I would take breaks from either art class or uh, choir class to go campaign in the lunchroom and be like, vote for me, vote for me. And then once it started got down to the last week of like elections, like, yeah, it doesn't really matter who you vote for. This is bullshit. I, I was trying to sell the people like, none of this matters. Oh, you're it's too all, cool. It's all you, conspiracy. You ended up being too cool. <laughs> he yeah. threw it away. He's like, yeah, I was like, yeah, whatever. it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, so, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Like, and then it came down to the vinyl votes. Make sure you don't mail anything in. <laughs> uh, Quinn, the sophomore at the time, had won maybe like 50 or 40 uh, votes. Quinn won. Quinn won, she, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Because I was telling everyone, like, don't vote for me. It's all done. That was that forever stuff. ago. Why would you do that? I really didn't give a shit back then, cause like, then why I, no, did no, no, you no, run? No, cause like my my he likes the competition. My brother Jake, who's like my family, you know, West Point Jake, he's like, what are you doing, dude? They're like using you. He's like, what do you mean? It, like, it didn't get to the end end of the whole like mock election. I was like, wow, these guys are like Republican as shit. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm you just, hadn't realized that you were being a useful. Idiot. Literally, like, you was like. I don't align with these views. They're like, is this because I'm like, 
we got to do something about the water parks. We got to do something about immigration. <laughs> it's like, I was just, you know, <laughs> and you realize it's a we class gotta election. We got to the water parks. <laughs> you, don't, you, you have nothing to do with border security. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a class election in Clinton. But <laughs> yeah. It's like, bro, you know this is for a high school, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got to separate them from their families <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, it wasn't until the end. I was like, oh, wow, I am really just a pawn. I was like, damn. That was beautiful. So, like, yeah, no, him and I go way back. Oh, yeah. So, like, my wackiness has always been this wacky. Do you have any other crazy stories like that, Cody? Bro. Where this guy uh, had some crazy interaction like that? I mean, hmm. a lot, but more than I could count. Yeah. This, I, this is the first guy that I told him when I first got my license, we would go to Taco Bell. Because we were talking middle school all oh the time God, about yeah. like middle school. It was school, so like, freshman year. Yep. I think it was freshman year, maybe before. Yeah, we like this. Is, we became friends in like middle school, kind of. And actually, funny enough, I hated him in middle school. <laughs> yeah. I, oh yeah. I literally hated this guy. A I lot was, of people did. I was like, <laughs> you know what? This dude's just a show off. Don't like him. Oh. I don't even know. But we became friends, obviously, throughout the years. But yeah, freshman year. Oh yeah. We we'd talk. We started talking about Taco Bell. I don't even know. We're like, well, what we get? When we get our license, whoever gets it first, we're going to Taco Bell, mm-hmm. and we're going to get, like, a 24-pack. <laughs> and we're, and we're going to eat it. A 24-pack. Yeah. That get, was it. Yeah, that we're going to get messed you know up what? on Taco Bell. I, I, I think we did end up going. Neither one of us got our license. He drove illegally. <laughs> illegally, yeah. <laughs> and, we just got, yeah. and we got Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we were, like, in the home economics class, like, food class, just, like, Making like shitty like little earthworms with dirt and Oreos like little like yeah, shit like that. Mud pie. Yeah, I'm like yeah, dude, Taco Bell is gonna be so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> we had a teacher who like couldn't, like this is gonna be revealing revealing too much, but we had a teacher that like something happened to her like at birth where she had a physical deformity and she physically could not smell. Wait, so uh, Miss Welch. Oh yeah, I, I yeah. Thought, wasn't that from an accident? Was that from an accident? It was a night from an accident. <laughs> well, this is much worse than what I'm about to <laughs> say. That <laughs> no, she had a, she had an accident. She had an accident, yeah. right? It was a cooking accident. Co- funny enough, cooking and she accident, taught cooking class. <laughs> yeah. Oh lord. And like yeah. she physically could not smell, so a lot of the bad kids were like, "Do you guys smell s- gas? Is that gas leak?" She'd be like, she couldn't like smell. She would have to trust our like ins- yeah. like our truth. Like, oh my god, we would have to like evacuate the class, go in the hallway. Did get you people- guys would use that again? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, people all the time. Multiple it so times. Bad. It was so bad. Multiple times. <laughs> you guys are fucking oh. bad kids. <laughs> it was bad. Oh, you guys are the best. Oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah, we would joke around and be like, yeah, dude, we're gonna go to Taco Bell. This is so much better. Fuck this. I Fuck think that's how words. we like kind of started bonding almost like oh, over yeah. Taco Bell. <laughs> Dude. That and people's Fast deformities from accidents. Together. Oh yeah. It, it does. does. Food yeah, is yeah. life sometimes. Food is love. <laughs> Food yeah, is love. I think it does because like Food is love. For me it was like McDonald's. It did, like, McDonald's. Any, any random day after school you would go to McDonald's and see like half the high school there's like what? All right. Yeah, yeah <laughs> for real. Hey, what's up everybody? <laughs> yeah nowadays you can go eat, like in a big city you go out to lunch at like 12 or 1 p.m. Fuck that. Just a bunch of high school kids with their backpacks, like waiting in line and all this stuff. That's yeah. a big issue with the Burger King over here. I'm like, I ain't going to Burger King. I don't. I'm like, I love Burger King. I love Burger King. Why do you King. always melt into the mic? <laughs> <laughs> I love Burger King. Let me tell you. You know what? I got one more uh, food story between I'll us two right here, right? <laughs> so this guy right here is the first guy I went to a music festival with, right? Uh, actually, my second music festival because the first one was Somerset. Was that the Electric Forest? Was Forest. the second one, right? Yeah. And uh, 2015, this is 2014, 2015. 2015. 15. Yeah, you won the 2014 by yeah, with another 15. group. It was 15. Oh yeah, I bailed you out of jail with the help of your mom. I drove to Michigan. That yes, yeah, you did. I forgot about that. <laughs> Tell people yeah. that story. Oh man! Wow. All right, so. I could start it off and you could finish it. This yeah, way, this totally. Be a great way to close. Hey, it off. by the way, this Perfect. is. I've been leading up to this story a couple of weeks ago. By telling people I hate Chicago for this exact reason. And I'm glad you're here to bring that all together. It's a solid deal. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was 2014. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. me, a couple other buddies. Just It was the three of us. We took off Electric Forest, you know. And Woo! We had, you know, some stuff on us. So, you know. They had some party favorites. Some going party favorites. Yeah. We were going to have some fun. And, uh, yeah, we're headed up there, halfway there. And I was taking my car. Just this way, guys. Just so we make sure he's oh, on yeah. camera. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, so we were like halfway there, maybe a little more. I don't even know. And uh, 
it, we, we saw people getting pulled over left and right. Yep. Literally, like, a line of cops just had people pulled over. It was a trap, and we knew it. So, we're like, we got to get off this highway. Yeah. We got to get off right That's now. That's terrifying, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, we were scared. And uh, we, we yeah. just passed an exit, so we're like, we'll get the next one. And next thing I know, cops behind me, you know. And, like, he's kind of tailgating me, and then he pulls off to the left, and he pulls off to the right, and he's, like, swerving behind me. And I'm like, ah, I'm like, just everyone act natural. Let's talk. Like, you know, hey, yeah, yeah. the road's really nice, right? You know? <laughs> I'm loving this <laughs> Michigan weather. Yeah, the, uh-huh. the traffic's really bad. You know, trying to act natural or whatever. And yep. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in there, you guys yeah. look like a bunch of skater punks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we got, like, weird festival stuff in the car. You can see it playing as They day. got tie-dye on. Yeah, tie-dye like, on. You know. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> there's smoke coming out the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder <laughs> which car has drugs, Yeah, guys. right, right. So, you know, kind of <laughs> obvious, unfortunately. But they pull us over, and, you know, the whole thing goes down, and they end up swooning us into, like, well, you know, if you don't give us the drugs, we're going to... We're going to arrest you and everything. And yeah, give us all the money in your cash, or otherwise yeah, it's going to be. They actually ended you know? up robbing us of money, which never showed up in court. Yep. Um, but, yeah. we They, they robbed you? <laughs> yeah. So they, <laughs> they took us to an ATM. It was like, you pay us 300 bucks, we'll let you go. So I paid no. them 300 bucks of my cash, and then they let us go. So we went to the festival, had to come back a week later to go to court, and that was never in the records, the 300 bucks. So I ended up. Uh, not having bail money to get me out of there, just the money they, they wanted. And, yep. yeah, I, I had to go to jail. They wanted me to serve, like, 20 days. Yep. So, Dang. yeah, I, I'm like, cool. And uh, I made a f- I think uh, I, I see, made a phone call to my mom. See, out of the three guys, see, those three of you guys that went back to court, right? Yeah. Out of those three, there was only one guy who had, like, uh oh! He had money on him that yeah. like he did not like tell anybody because everybody else pitching money for gas. He's like, I'm gonna keep this for myself actually. Yeah. And then when it came to like you know being released, he's like, actually I have the bond money right here. Yeah, he got and out. like the, the, you and the other guy looked at him like what? So that guy that got free called me up was like, bro, we're fucked, man. We're, oh, we yeah, need to, we need to you. go jail, he man. Did. We're we're in jail. We're in Michigan. He's calling me because he has no ride. His first thought was like, you need to come here and bail the two other guys out, you and our other friend. He's like, bro, I need you to pick me up. I was like, where's the other two guys? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. When, They're I, in jail, they, actually. They put me in like a holding cell. And, you know, I was like terrified. I'm sitting there like. Bro, you're 18 at the time. Yeah, 18, 18, 17. 18. So I'm yeah. sitting there like, this is crazy. And next thing I know, I see my other buddy walking into the same holding cell. And I was kind of like. All right, this is okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm not alone. It's like, hey, uh, yeah, I got a homie hey, here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, now I'll let you continue. <laughs> yeah, no, I get the phone call maybe at like 12 or 1 p.m., maybe 2. Afternoonish, right? He's like, dude, you got to come to Michigan and get us out of here. I'm like, where's the other two guys? He's like, oh, they're in jail. He's like, oh, like, what do we got to do to get them out? He's like, oh, we need bill money. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, man. I don't got that much money on me. So what did I did? I went to your mom to like, yeah. We need to get your son out of jail ASAP. She's like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, all right, I'll I'll give you the bail money and well, like. And I called her too from mm-hmm. in the cell. They had like this phone box on the wall. Right? Yeah, you get the one free phone call it was back home. Funny because I'm sitting in there with probably twelve other dudes. You know, they all did different stuff. Stole whatever, whatever. domestic battery. Yeah, you know, whatever. so I'm sitting there and I call my mom and you know she comes on, she comes on the intercom. And, you know, I was like, "Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting in a holding cell. You know, waiting to." get put in my cell and she's like what did you do you know like what the fuck and you know i had my little conversation with her and then you know i was like all right bye mom and all the dudes in the cell at the same time and I'm, this is not a joke they're all like bye mom <laughs> <laughs> and my mom literally was like you're all bad kids y- y- y'all are terrible <laughs> it was it was just really funny <laughs> bye mom yeah. just having like in unison <laughs> was like, damn it's like okay <laughs> it was just hilarious it was, it was pretty That's funny great. Yeah, so I went to your to your mom's house, co- get a, concocted a plan, and be like, "Oh, I had luckily I had the day off from work." I was like, "Yeah, I guess I can do it." Just that spur of the moment, I was like, "I was gonna spend the whole day playing Dark Souls Two, or whatever <laughs> PS3 game I had." I was Probably like, like, "A six hour drive." It was, it would have been a six hour drive. So this is the true story why I hate Chicago. Right, I had a shitty, shitty Microsoft phone. Right. And like you know, we had Siri for iPhones. You've always had terrible phones. I've always had the worst yeah, local really phones. Really has though, for yeah. real. Somehow you always have a bad phone. And even like for a while there, I was like, I'm in the five hundred dollar phone club. I was like, you know, boasting about my new phone. I was like, yeah, but that's like a bad version of like the different <laughs> models of five hundred dollar <laughs> phones. You got the worst one, right? So I'm in Chicago trying to GPS my way to Michigan. 
my fucking phone just doesn't have any signal, any like like juice. I'm like I'm like lost without my GPS. I'm going through the city. I'm like fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm going through different tolls. His mom gave me just enough money to bail them out. Right, it was like eight hundred bucks. Yeah, and I did not have enough money for all the tolls. So like I was like taking that money. I was like (laughs) digging into my like funds and like. Oh shit! Like, all right. Hopefully they have just enough. And fast forward to like different tolls I did not need to take because my GPS, you know, broke down. I get to Michigan, right? And it's maybe like 10 p.m., 8 p.m. It's this like literally the last end of the night. They're like getting their jumpsuits. Like, all right, guys. Yeah, they were just gearing us up to go to our cells. Yeah. Go to bed. Uh, just to get our cells, basically. Oh, okay. You know, because. I don't know if it's like a waiting line or whatever, but yeah, yeah they were just setting us up. So they're like, it's just, it's just about everything's about to be like finalized for the day. I get in there, like, all right, I give them the money. I'm like, I'm ready to get my friends out. Like, I'm here for so and so and so and so. It's like, Some all right, ass fashion. All right, but like, you're missing a quarter. I was literally off by a quarter, right? Uh-huh. I was like, no way, because I just used all the money that I had to get through the toll booths. Yeah. I'm like. What? I'm literally short twenty five cents, and there was a dude there, right? That just just got released by his by his girlfriend. He sees me like, no way, man! I just drove you from Wisconsin. I'm like pleading with the lady, like, yeah. please, just twenty five cents, let it go. He sees me pleading with her. He's like, yo, hey, yo, babe, hey, yo. He like tells the girl like, give him, give me a quarter. Yeah. She's like, okay. He's like, cause she goes through her shed, gives me a quarter. I'm like I'm not even exaggerating. I was yeah. less than fifty cents from getting my two friends out it's, of jail. It's funny that dude uh, that helped me out potentially. Basically, uh, he um he actually was in the holding cell with us. Mm. So he was a longer haired gentleman. I'm pretty sure if I remember. yeah yeah he had like dreads kind yeah. of a thing going on. Yeah, he yeah. was sitting in the cell with us. So I'm sure he was like, I know which dudes you're. you're getting. <laughs> He's probably yeah. like, yeah, let me help you out. You know. Why not? Why not? The, the, the two dudes that stuck out of like a sore thumb. Yeah, actually, totally tell from Wisconsin. There was, a, there was like a 16 year old in there. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Dude. There was a fucking motley crew in dude, there. Dude, there was a the whole. Club. Dude, Michigan does not give a fuck. They're yeah. like, what age you are? You're going in there. Yeah, baby. the 16 year old stole a car and like drove off with it and then ran into a telephone pole and ran away. <laughs> Damn. And, like, he, and he got arrested and he was telling the cops it wasn't him. That's what he was telling all of us. He's like, what do I say? He's like, do I just keep lying? And everyone's like, just keep lying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're here already. You might as well keep it going then. You're like, just stick to your story, man. Oh. <laughs> He's the worst lawyer, the worst advice people. <laughs> it's like, do I keep yeah. lying? Yeah. yeah, it was wild. Yeah, no, but like literally it's crazy that after like an eight-hour ordeal, it would have like come to a uh, mute. Sense. Yeah, over a couple of cents. And now I get them out. It's a fucking phenomenal... We uh we smoked a cigarette right away. Oh, yeah. I don't smoke cigarettes. I'm like I need a cigarette. And right I don't now. either. We, and we were, <laughs> we're right away. We were like we all just like let's buy a pack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> and it felt great. I, I don't know. You know you're sitting there. I, it's a weird feeling. I don't know if you guys have ever mm-hmm. had to go to like just not jail I guess necessarily, but just yeah. just to uh, be arrested in general. Yeah, the whole process of like read your rights. Yeah, yeah. put I mean, the have, handcuffs. Have you guys been cuffed ever? No, I think the worst I ever got is breath alive, but I was never driving, so they would just be like. That's a ticket. Okay. Like, All right. <laughs> so, you know, kind of yeah. general. I mean, yeah. have you ever been cuffed? I, I've i had, like, shitty interactions with cops, but it's more like their words and, like. Sure. Like, they were, like, I was driving and I kicked my seat back when I was, like, 17 because I wanted to take a breath. And then I kicked it forward. And then because of that, they searched my car and they made me get out of the car. Okay. While I was with my prom date and shit. Wow. So it was like, y- fuck you guys. Yeah, a little, little like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. it's like, you literally, uh, yeah, so. But never process and, or hear the clank of the. No, <laughs> I've never had that. Yeah. Yeah, I've so never I, had yeah, that. I mean, I was cuffed and literally, like, escorted into, you know, a holding cell and <laughs> waiting to go into a cell. And just that whole, all those feelings. And then after getting bailed out with him, you know, you, you sit there and you really have a true feeling of, like, Freedom, and you know, after feeling those real feelings of being contained, it's it's very different, and yeah. it's it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> let me tell you, yeah. it's it's a whole new yeah. You were looking world the, of emotions yeah. down the reality of like, holy fuck, I'm gonna have to change it out of my clothes into like this like gear that they provide me, yeah, and spend the night 
and this like w- what yeah, they what they provide me. It's with? a whole new thing. Yeah. It's it really is. So. How long did you spend in there? A few hours? Oh, uh, dude, I was I was in there for about eighteen hours. Okay. So I mean, it's nothing crazy, but yeah, they mean I did was not staying there twenty days. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, true. Fuck that. Yeah. yeah. So nothing crazy. It's like all because of this man, though. I'll yeah. owe you money later, but like, don't let me stay in here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And nothing felt very victorious, and like just having a three car convoy of like us going back home, like. We're <laughs> smoking cigarettes. Smoking like, cigarettes like I'm free. You know? It's like the Joker yeah. with his hair out the window in that movie. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't control me, Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's good. like we go way back, and like that's why I hate Chicago. Your GPS, fuck, your phone doesn't work in Chicago. You're fucked, dude. You're gonna expend a two-hour drive into a six-hour drive. So I mean, I love Chicago, but. Hey, I can't blame you for having like that being something my, my, you've gone through yeah. and not liking it. So, mm-hmm. hey, but what a what a way to end the end the night today. Oh yeah, the story like that. Yeah, a good fucking, story to share. Yeah, <laughs> edge of your seat there. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I, I I implore every viewer that's watching that if you ever find yourself in a situation like that that like you need a friend to lean on, call your best friend because you're gonna get the answer that you hope. Yeah, most likely than not. They're going to come help you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. And uh, hopefully the same help that we provide our close friends is the uh, same help that you guys at home provide for us. And if not, go you've ahead got and, the uh, wrong people around you. Exactly. Go ahead and whatever media platform you listen to or subscribe to, give us a five-star rating. Tune in because we're going to be announcing our winners for the free merch sweepstakes. We've got in contact with five different people. And if you're more interested in like, oh my, I've been a viewer and a fan and a subscriber since day one. How come I can't get qualified for the shirts? Email us your your username and we're going to get in contact with you. And we're going to draw at the end of the week. And we're going to see who gets the free merch. All right. Well, have a great night. Have a great week, guys. Thank you. See you next time.